Hi, I'm Dr. James Machino. Antioxidant supplements, how they help prevent and treat disease. You know, there's a lot of controversy about taking antioxidant supplements, but I will tell you that antioxidants in general quench free radicals. What are free radicals? Free radicals are these very unstable compounds that can damage our cells. So for instance, a person who smokes cigarettes often is inhaling a lot of free radicals. And you know that of all the people who get lung cancer in 87% of cases, the person was a smoker. Often because the free radical materials inside the cigarette smoke is causing genetic mutations to the lung tissue. That's how cancer occurs. So quenching those free radicals is very important because it's not just cigarette smoke that causes free radicals. We have all kinds of environmental toxins today that create free radical damage in the body. Nitrosamines as well. The ingestion of alcohol causes a lot of free radicals. And there's many other sources of free radicals. Even oxygen that we breathe produces some free radical damage. And you can see it. If you take an apple and you cut it in half and expose it to oxygen and air, the apple starts to rot. And that's oxidative free radical damage. But you know, if I take the apple, I cut it in half and I squeeze lemon juice on it, it, it rots more slowly. Why? Because there's vitamin C in the lemon juice, which is an antioxidant, which is able to sort of quench the free radicals of oxygen and slow down its damaging effects. So in our world today, the, we live in an environment where there is oxygen and ultraviolet light and things that can cause free radical damage to us. Some things are unavoidable. The idea is to build up your antioxidant defenses so the free radical damage is not as severe. We know that free radical damage leads to mutations in our cells that then can produce cancer. We also know that ultraviolet light free radical damage causes macular degeneration and cataracts in, in our eyes and free radicals can damage the cholesterol in the bloodstream and lead to cardiovascular disease or certainly contribute to it. The brain gets oxidized over time by oxygen and other free radicals and in dementia, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's disease, multiple sclerosis, Lou Gehrig's disease, free radicals are contributing to the disease. They may not be the primary thing in every case but they are a component of the disease. And ultraviolet light hitting our skin is linked to not only wrinkling of the skin but also skin cancer. So the question then becomes, if we've known this, have they had actual clinical studies where they've taken people with health problems where free radicals are, are part of it and given them antioxidants? And have those studies shown anything important? We have all kinds of studies to show that giving people who already have diseases, antioxidants can be helpful. So there are studies that show that people that have prostate cancer, giving them specific antioxidants, has slowed the progression of the disease. In the EPIC study and other studies, we've seen that people that take antioxidant supplements have a lower overall risk of cancer in general if you follow them over a long enough period of time. A precancerous condition in the mouth called leukoplakia, certain supplements have been shown to reverse the disease. Same with cervical dysplasia, a precancerous condition of the cervix of the uterus. The same thing with precancerous cells in the stomach called atrophic gastritis, supplementation studies showing a reversal. Women that have had breast cancer where it's spread to the axillary lymph nodes after receiving medical treatment, the ones put on a specific supplementation cocktail including antioxidants had better outcomes down the road with less disease progression and metastasis. Antioxidants also block the formation of cancer-causing chemicals in the intestinal tract called nitrosamines. They've been shown to slow the progression of Alzheimer's disease, slow the progression of Parkinson's disease, boost immune system function in people who are older or who have immune compromised states, and slow the progression of macular degeneration, which is the uh, leading cause of blindness in people over the age of 55. It also reduces damage to the skin by ultraviolet light and has been able to improve blood circulation in people that, that are diabetics and in people that already have had bypass surgery for their heart, giving them certain antioxidants has shown that the, the effect of the bypass surgery lasts longer. The, the, the arteries don't clog up again if they're giving antioxidant supplements to study by HODIS showed that. So antioxidant supplementation studies are really important for, and you need to know how to use antioxidants for health optimization and to manage certain health conditions. So I reviewed all this information. So if you click on the link below, you're going to see my article. It's called Antioxidant Supplements, Do They Help? And you'll see all of the scientific studies and all the reports there that show you the studies that we've, where we've seen an amazing effect using antioxidant supplementation. Most medical doctors don't see this research. They don't really study nutrition and natural medicine to any extensive degree. 
but antioxidants are really important from a, a health preservation standpoint. So in my article, it reviews it all. Everyone should know about antioxidants. So click on the link, read the article, and get yourself familiar with the true benefits that antioxidants have to offer. Now at machinohealth.com, you'll see my other research review papers, other articles that I've written, downloads footage from my live seminars, other resources. They're all there for free to help you lead a long, healthy, functional life. My research papers and my teaching materials have scientific references in them to make sure you're getting only sound scientific information on anything that you're searching for. So you should make machinohealth.com a reliable resource on an ongoing basis for both you and your family members. Thanks so much.